marketing management of retail banking products. We all know retail banking refers to mass market banking where individual customers typically use banks for services such as savings and current account, mortgages, loans, x for example personal, housing, auto and educational, debit cards, credit cards, depository services, fixed deposits, investment advisory services for high net worth individuals, etc. In this lesson, we will discuss the marketing strategy in banks, explain the concept of relationship marketing, explain the selling through internet and direct marketing, and describe the service marketing and customer satisfaction. After going through this presentation, you should be able to discuss marketing strategy in banks. Explain relationship marketing. Describe the selling through internet. Define direct marketing. Explain service marketing and customer satisfaction. And discuss direct sales and sales team in banks. Introduction of asset classification and prudential accounting norms. Deregulation of interest rate and opening up of the financial sector made Indian banking sector competitive. Retail banks need to make their products visible in the market through marketing techniques. Under this development, Indian banks need to reinvent the marketing strategy for growth both in urban and rural areas. Marketing strategy for urban area. In urban areas, the extent and variety of economic activities demands that one institution should meet all financial need of a customer. This strategy is focused on customer services. Here, the marketing strategy should be based on customer service and the use of modern technology in banking. Another strategy for effective marketing is bank need to change the focus from the traditional banking to universal banking. In urban areas, the extent and variety of economic activities demands that one institution should meet all financial need of a customer. Marketing strategy for rural areas. For effective rural marketing product development, promotion and communication is important. Bank need to innovate products. Marketing through customer services in rural areas is different from that of urban areas. Here, personalized banking is the success mantra for banks. Because of high level of illiteracy, people prefer to undertake banking transactions themselves. The aim of relationship marketing is to create strong, lasting relationship with core group of customers. Relationship marketing helps the customer on one hand and the service provider on the other hand. Relationship marketing is important to create strong, lasting relationship with core group of customers. It is to a bank's advantage to develop long-term relationship with existing customers because it is easier and less expensive to make an additional sale to an existing customer than to make new sales to new customers. The banks have been taking a plethora of initiatives to reorient their business customer service ethos. Customers have the sense of well-being and quality of life as they have long-term relationship with the bank. Customers think that the banks know their preferences and have tailored services to suit their needs over a period of time and they do not want to change this arrangement, they have remained loyal so far. Due to good relationship management, the bank gets committed and loyal customers, thus increasing the purchases, which in turn increase the profits of the bank and free advertising through word of mouth. Lower cost retaining the current customers cost much lower than making new customers, as new customers attract advertising cost and other promotional costs. Operating cost of setting up accounts and systems and cost of getting to know the customers. Banks nowadays spend a considerable amount of money each year trying to attract new customers to apply online or to send in their details so someone in the customer relationship or sales team, call center, preferred banking or private banking team can reach out to them. However, in most cases, the visitors to a bank's homepage are their existing customers. 
because they always wanted to know about the new products of the banks. Therefore, 70 to 95 percent of daily traffic is being channeled without delay from the home page to the secure internet banking website behind the login. There are huge advantages to the banks in utilizing the internet banking portal for targeted cross-sell and upsell to existing valued customers. Better closure rates because of the ability to accurately target low KYC and compliance workload for bank or customer because of the existing relationship. Much higher impressions than public website homepage and third-party acquisition attempts. Lower cost of acquisition and improvements in service perceptions. Direct marketing is an unsolicited contact the banks makes with existing or potential customers in order to generate sales or raise awareness. For the banks, it's by far the most cost-effective form of marketing. It comprises direct mail and leaflet drops to telemarketing and email marketing. It allows the banks to target customers with greater accuracy than any other method. Direct marketing allows the banks to generate a specific response from targeted groups of customers. It's a particularly useful tool for small businesses because it allows the banks to focus limited resources where they are most likely to produce results and measure the success of campaigns accurately by analyzing responses. The banks can use direct marketing in both business-to-business -business and consumer markets. A direct marketing campaign can help the banks to achieve the key objectives such as building customer loyalty, re-establishing lapsed customer, generating new business and increasing sales to existing customers. The services marketing of the banks are done through internal marketing, network marketing and relationship marketing. These services are shaped in contracts. The structure of banking services affects the success of institution in long term. Besides the basic attributes like speed, security and ease in banking services, the rights like consultancy for services to be compounded are also preferred. The price and distribution factors should be widely considered while marketing for the services. Price is the sole element of marketing variables that create earnings while others cause expenditure. The distribution channels and systems should be very good and easily accessible for the customer. Otherwise, the whole strategy of the services marketing will be futile. Customer satisfaction is necessary for customer retention. Otherwise, customer will switch over to other bank services. Customer retention is potentially an effective tool that banks can use to gain a strategic advantage and survive in today's ever-increasing banking competitive environment. The argument for customer retention and satisfaction is relatively straightforward. It is more economical to keep existing customers than to acquire new ones. The key factors influencing customers' selection of a bank include the range of services, rates, fees and prices charged. Direct selling is the sale of a consumer product or service person to person away from a fixed retail location marketed through independent sales representatives who are sometimes also referred to as consultants, distributors or other titles. Banks also sell their products through direct selling method. In this type of selling the members of the sales team visit people and tell them about their products and services and the benefits inherited in them. The sales team of a bank should be highly efficient and should possess knowledge of the banking products and the customer's needs as well. They should interact with people and should satisfy the customer in a persuasive manner to buy the products or services of the banks concerned. Customers can ask questions and get advice in a relaxed environment. Now let us check if we have understood the various concepts discussed in this lesson clearly. Selling through internet helps improvement in service perception. Right or wrong? Right. 
Direct marketing is any solicited contact the bank makes with existing or potential customers in order to generate sales or raise awareness. Right or wrong? Wrong. Customer retention is potentially an effective tool that banks can use to gain a strategic advantage and survive in today's ever-increasing banking competitive environment. Right or wrong? Right. Before we end, let us briefly revise what we have studied till so far. Marketing is a management process through which goods and services move from concept to customer. Introduction of asset classification and prudential accounting norms. Deregulation of interest rate and opening up of the financial sector made Indian banking sector competitive. Retail banks need to make their products visible in market through marketing technique. Relationship marketing is the promotional and selling activities aimed at developing and managing trusting and long-term relationship with larger customers. Customers have the sense of well-being and quality of life as they have long-term relationship with the bank. The banks can use direct marketing in both business-to-business -business and consumer markets. The services marketing of the banks are done through internal marketing network marketing and relationship marketing. Internet marketing is the marketing efforts done solely over the internet. Customer satisfaction is the degree of satisfaction provided by the goods or services of a firm as measured by the number of repeat customers. Direct marketing is the selling via direct contact with the prospective customer.